Welcome back to the Scroll of Atan Karzim for Free Space 2 here on Paladin Gaming. We're going into the, the fourth mission. Have been hunting us of mostly since your sortie at the installation. Admiral Amatha has kept our subspace drives on hot standby through multiple jumps and diversionary maneuvers, and our navigation computers have been occupied full time calculating new jump trajectories using the Memhardot's astrometrics. These evasive tactics have enabled us to elude our pursuers thus far, but a game of Shul Sud cannot go on forever. A short while ago, the Memhardot happened to detect a Sheevan freighter emerging from subspace, and so discovered another jump node. Our attempts to inform GVTA command of this discovery were not acknowledged, and comms is still trying to determine the reason why. Pending the restoration of communications, we have transferred through the node in order to escape our pursuers and to further our assignment objectives. Uh, this is the fourth mission of the Imperial Special Forces branch of the Scroll of Atan Karzim. Uh, the, uh, the, the title of the mission is Hitchhiking. We have arrived in Fornessus, a proto-system, and the stellar dust encircling the young star is causing interference for the Memhardot Sawax Array. The effect is not as pronounced as in a nebula, but even so we have limited long-range sensor abilities. On the edge of the system, where the dust is thinnest, the AWACS has detected human contacts, but we have not been able to resolve the data. This is where you come in, Alpha-1. Oh boy, a stealth mission! To properly assess oh. the sheep and strength and activities, we will need to deploy recon fighters. The AWAX data are fuzzy, but the Memhardot's crew believes the force is substantial. Stealth fighters might avoid detection more easily, but in this situation you will need to pack some firepower in case things get out of hand. Therefore, you and your women have been authorized to fly two of our Fumara Class reproductions. As long as you keep away from other fighters, the Terranum signature of your Mars should remain undetected. Alpha Wing's primary objectives on this mission will be to determine what the Sheevan Crescents is out there, and what they are up to. To begin with, you will need to send us sensor data transmissions regarding ship types and numbers. Further orders await the results of your reconnaissance. Alright, primary objectives are to reconnoiter, so not a stealth mission, rather... Yeah... Hmm, I could back EMPs. Nah. Alright. Let's commit. Alright, oh boy. We're here, Admiral. Acknowledge. Can you a process of the strength of the sheep and crescents, Alpha? Target each large vessel, freighters and above, for two seconds to ensure an accurate sensor data transmission. The major sheep and vessel is a demon class destroyer, sir. An idle destroyer, most peculiar. We can't find out what you're carrying. Tritium. All ships accounted for, Admiral. There are several warships aside from the destroyer, and a number of cargo freighters. I want to know what the Sheevans are up to out here, pilots. The freighter's cargo may reveal some clue. Hmm. Well, it seems I anticipate the Admiral's Beware needs. of Kurtama 1, Alpha. Scan its container as quickly as possible. Copy, Admiral. Oh boy, they're buzzing around the destroyer. May have to live dangerously here. Oh boy. Weapons. Alright, time to extract. The 
Ashkelon has taken in one of the cargo containers. You have cargo. Oh, it's two together. I might be able to just knock this out here. Organic material. Organic material. Scan the Ashkelon subsystems now, Buffin. I do not trust the sleeping Tarnak. A Moloch Corbett has entered the area of command. Understood. Continue with your objectives, Buffin. Oh boy. Oh boy. The sheep and speak. Remain watchful of him. We have to stay clear of the fighter patrols. I was close. Too close. I got to the front of the ship. That was unexpected. You have succeeded in writing the sheep in subspace way to a new location, Alpha. We do not know where the sheep is are headed, but you will soon find out. Since you did not calculate this jump trajectory yourself, it will take some time for your navigation computers to determine your location. Once your coordinates are received, the Memhart Oak will jump in at a safe distance to provide a wax and ESD, electromagnetic spectral defactor, support. In the meantime, your mission objectives remain unchanged. Finish your scans of the Ashkelon, and then move on to collect data on the other Sheevan warships. Stay alert, Alpha Wing. Oh boy! Let's continue. Where are you, Alpha? We are deep in the stellar dust, Admiral. Navigational computers have not yet determined our location. Okay, Alpha-1. Sheep and fighters at 400 meters. Come out here and launch fighters at us. Alright. Complete your scans of the Ashkelon, Alpha. We need not receive previously inspected subsystems. Describe the area and activities of the ship. Oh, there's a jump software. node in front of us. Sensors detect a jump node nearby, Admiral. Little else can be seen. The cruisers and freighters accompanying the Ashkelon are jumping periodically, Admiral, as well as the fighter wings. The fighters are resuming their patrol patterns. The warships are not moving, Admiral. Pretty sure the engine is up here, yep. What's it take? Oh, is the engine not one of the things I need to scan? I guess not. Oops. The 
Beware of the fighters, Alpha One. We must not be caught here. Indeed. Oh, I need to scan the fighter base. Considering they've been launching fighters. Beware of the fighters, Alpha One. We must not be caught here. Come on, go away. We must avoid the Shiva fighters, Alpha One. Indeed, that's what I'm doing. That guy came within two, within uh, 300 meters. For a second. Saved by the stellar gas, no doubt. Good work, Alpha. We shall analyze this data forthwith. Gather what more reconnaissance you can on the sheep and warships. Still determining location. Fighters are opening the distance. has emerged from subspace, Admiral, Gordon class. Acknowledge, Alpha. Continue with your reconnaissance objectives. More sheep and warships are entering the area now, Admiral. Obtain scans of them if you can, Alpha. The more light is shown here, the better. Do not jeopardize the overall mission, however. Admiral, a Lucifer class destroyer has jumped in. Hi, Lucifer. This does not bode well. Oh, crap. Scan the Arcalus Nap and Comp Subsystems, Alpha. I must know what the Sheepens are up to. We must avoid the Sheepen fighters, Alpha 1. Yep. They are busting around this cruiser. We must avoid the Sheepen fighters, Alpha 1. I'll get this guy since I'm here, and I better go get that Lucifer. That seems kind of primary. Nav and calm. Progress bar and determining my location. That might be my clock. We've got three destroyers now, Admiral. Ah, crap. Three destroyers? The Sheepens are massing in Armada. Get me scans of the Red Yakins, Nap and Calm, Alpha. Copy, Admiral. Oh boy, its shield is up. That's just great. Someone's jumping in on my face. We have received your coordinates, Alpha. The Men Hartle will arrive shortly. 
There's the comm right up there. Memhardo is now in station. Activating a Watson preparing to initialize the SD array. will be needed of the Pisna Alpha. That Corvette appears to be returning from a reconnaissance mission of its own. Okay, so get the Prasna. We must learn what lies beyond this jump node. Zeta-1 will be deployed to investigate. Beware of the fighters, Alpha-1. We must not be caught here. guy's a priority. And he's on the move. Oh, crap. Admiral, Archer 1 just sent us a transmission. I think they are getting suspicious. Acknowledge. Break off and head through the vampire. If the fighter is pursued, the ESD will get their transmissions. Activate the ESD, then part of Set the field radius to 3,000 meters. Too wide a blanket will alert the main team and forces that not all is well. Acknowledge, Admiral. Setting electromagnetic spectral diffractor to the specified parameters. Come on, come on, come on. Roger the wind has broken off to follow you, Alpha. You must hurry. Almost got it, Admiral. Where is the Memhardo? There it is, let's go. You with me, Alpha 2? Be kept within 3,000 meters of the Mimparo to prevent any transmissions. ESD active. Gemming transmissions of Arjuna Wing. Get 
engage Arjuna, Alpha, but keep them within 3,000 meters of the Memhardo. They will not be permitted to tell the others that we are here. Proximity monitor is online, but it's not telling me about these guys who are right here. Yeah, that's not allowed. Good work, Alpha, but the humans will soon begin wondering what became of their fighter wing. We can linger here no longer. All craft engage subspace drives. All right, let's get the hell out of here. A pity we couldn't finish the reconnaissance. After reviewing your service record and the recommendations of your superior officers, Command no, no, no. has authorized your promotion. Congratulations, Lieutenant. <laughs> our situation has worsened. Alpha-1, Comms has ascertained that our previous transmissions were unsuccessful because the Sheepans were somehow interfering with them. However, while you were out on your mission, the Sheepans discovered and destroyed our communications relay board at MGC-6402. With our comm relay destroyed, any hope of countering the Sheepans' interference is moot. At this point we are completely cut off from the GVTA, and we must plan our actions accordingly. The massing of the Sheepan fleet in this system is a dire concern. Shortly before the destruction of our comm relay, GVTA scout vessels discovered a third jump node in Marniac, leading to the Delta Nare Z system. The sensor data gathered by Zeta-1 indicates that this node also leads to Delta Nare Z. It is clear the Sheepans intend to bypass the GVTA forces occupying Alpha Nare Z and commence their assault directly on Marniac. Initial analysis of the scans you obtained indicates that the Sheepans will launch their attack soon. Presumably they plan to coordinate the assault with a simultaneous attack in Alpha Nare Z. With communications down, we have no means to warn the GVTA of the situation, and we lack the firepower to launch a conventional direct assault on the massed Sheevan fleet. However, an unconventional plan is in the works by which we may be able to seriously weaken the Sheevan forces before they come into confrontation with the GVTA. We will release more details on this shortly. The Prisma systems contain sensor data on several locations within Fornessus and Delvinari Zai, which may indicate the route that the Sheepans plan to take through these systems. This will prove invaluable in planning and prioritizing our future actions. Good work, Alpha-1. In recognition of your outstanding service to Galactic Vasudan Terran Intelligence and Imperial Special Forces, you are hereby awarded the Distinguished Intelligence Cross. Your superlative achievements in special operations and reconnaissance have proven critical to our operations in this theater. Get some rest now, Alpha. You will be recalled to the briefing room soon enough. Dismissed. Alright, no recommendations. So, I have the Distinguished Intelligence Cross, and I'm promoted to Lieutenant. So that uh, Red Alert mission was was Lucifer's Cloak. Um, so we have two total kills and one assist. That'll be Gorgons, yeah. Bring all time for the uh, Special Forces Branch mission to 67 with 15 assists. So this was... Uh, Hitchhiking and Lucifer's Cloak. The... Fourth and fifth, uh, I'll count it as the fourth because it's really one mission. Uh, missions of the uh, Imperial Special Forces branch of the Scroll of the Scroll of Azan Karzim campaign for Free Space Two here on Paladin Gaming. This is Paladin Gaming signing off.